Hi all, my name is Matthias Mandillo, and my Taylor guitar is my cultural artifact that I'm going to be presenting to you. So a guitar is a stringed instrument. It is a type of a lute chordophone. And this is a acoustic guitar, which means that there, is, there isn't any electrical uh, modifiers to create the sound. It's basically just a hollow body of wood that amplifies um, the vibrations of the strings as it is um, fine-tuned by the tuning pegs right here. And so when tension occurs from the strings along with the hollow body of wood, it creates a, a sound like that. And so as far as the guitar goes, it's a Taylor brand guitar. You can see right there, not by Taylor Swift, but by a man named Robert Taylor, him and his buddy, Kurt Listig. They um, headquartered in El Cajon, California, and they, were, they founded Taylor Guitars in 1974. And Taylor Brand is still one of the leading manufacturers of guitars. Um, Jason Mraz and Taylor Swift both used the Taylor guitar. Um, Taylor Swift played Fearless from her acoustic guitar, which is pretty cool. So this model is the Model 710 Taylor, made in 1997. And it is made from three different types of wood. The top portion of wood is made from red cedar western red cedar which is very beautiful there's some teal um, imprints in here and then the neck of the guitar is made from mahogany very sturdy and thicker a little bit heavier and durable which is needed and then the body of the wood which is heated and molded together is made from eastern indian uh, rosewood um, which is very beautiful and it smells amazing and so there it's about four pounds it weighs about four pounds uh, there's six strings again phosphor bronze strings and there's 20 frets so depending on where you place your fingers on the strings and on the frets it creates a note and more than one note creates chords and uh, which creates songs. For I'm satisfied in you, my God. So that song is called Satisfied by Scott Cunningham, who's a good friend of mine and a worship leader. But this guitar itself um, was given to me as a gift by my other friend, who's also a pastor, and I also teach with him and used to lead worship at, um, at his church. But yeah, just to conclude, um, the guitar really um, reflects my cultural identity and my values and beliefs, just even just how it's put together. You know, there's so many cool, unique pieces bits and pieces just, you know, heated and molded together to create a beautiful instrument that's unique. And that's just like my life, you know, my life, my life's, you know, I don't have it all put together, you know, my life's so wrecked and I'm not perfect. And I know that, um, but it's actually through like my brokenness and my, all of my failures, all the, the, the tension in my own life, you know, um, I feel like the Lord is he, he's been fine-tuning my life and he's been molding me and shaping me through all the trials and uh, just drawing me closer to him and he created a beautiful just masterpiece in my life um the bible says the moment you believe in his death in Jesus' death and resurrection you become a new creation so my identity is in christ and so the guitar is a way that i can express my thanksgiving and gratitude to him and my, my um, he's my song, you know, he's my Thanksgiving, and he puts, he inspires me to play. Um, I'm also thankful that my, my dad, I used to see my dad strumming the guitar as I was a kid, and my mom would always play worship music. And so all the things that happened in my life, the good and the bad, the Lord worked it together. So um, 
to create the person I am today. And I'm still growing and I'm still learning, and but I'm just thankful uh, for who I am. And I'm confident, I don't wanna change um, just my identity in Christ Jesus ever. And so I'm just thankful for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. See ya.